Hello everybody, Razorblade Mango here. Let's talk about Bethesda's E3 2018 conference. So, to get right to the point, um, this one was rather... It was, a, it was a strange conference. It was some highs, quite a few lows. We'll get into it, but first thing they did was talk about Rage 2. And I was like, <laughs> they started it with this, oh my god, this like super, super unnecessary, overly long introduction to Rage 2. I think they spent more time introducing Rage 2 than they did showing off Rage 2, which that was a waste of time, which, which you did not need to have the band come out and play the song from the, the reveal trailer. I was just like, no, no thank you. And then you had the two leads from the two different studios, Id and Avalanche, working on it. You had them standing out there and just awkwardly talking about it. It was just, it was like, okay, are we going to get to Rage 2? Are we going to get to it? Finally, we got to it, and it looks awesome. I, it really is Fury Road meets Doom. It really is a combination of these two studios, uh, past IPs. I, I love everything I saw, like a lot of things that I saw, I love the, the weapons being used, I love the, the style, the energy, the sense of humor, the violence, I, I fully appreciate the crazy ass Fury Road tone that it's going with, and I, I'm i hooked, I can't wait, I, I will, if it comes out on a reasonable date, I will buy this, day one, like it looks so fucking good, and it's just a shame that you have this like really bad start to it that thankfully was saved by how great the game looked and boy did it look good I, I was like and I'm somebody who's not a fan of the original rage but this one this I can get behind this I can this I can fuck with I, I, I'm, I'm into it I, I, I want to I want to play it I want to see more and then they moved on to oh god the you're gonna have a lot of these during this where you're gonna have me talking about it and then just like immediately skipping past it because I just did not care I zoned out so bad during some of this the Elder Scrolls Legends <sighs> and that was the Elder Scrolls Legends then they moved on to the Elder Scrolls Online and that was the Elder Scrolls Online. Then they moved on to Doom E2 Eternal! Ah, fuck yeah! Doom! We get more Doom! Oh god, yes, thank you! Hell on Earth, baby! Fucking Doom guy is back with a shotgun to blow demons the fuck up! Woo! Fuck yeah. Doom 2. Uh, gameplay reveal is going to be during QuakeCon. That's exciting. Uh, I don't know if I'll be around in order to have access to that, but I am... Oh, God, I am looking forward to Doom 2. Oh, oh, oh. all I needed to do was show gameplay, and I could have just... I was... I'd been done. I'd been like, yes! Ah, oh, oh, yeah! Uh, and then they moved on to Quake Champions, which... Uh, okay. Then they moved on to Prey DLC, which... Uh, okay. Now, to be fair, even though I couldn't stand Prey, I imagine that the fans of the game are pretty happy that they're getting new free content. And... That's cool. It, unfortunately, still continued the pattern of droning on way too fucking long. Wolfenstein Youngblood. Um, truth be told, I I don't like the Machine Games Wolfenstein games. If I'm being honest, like I just I I don't like the New Order. I I'm not crazy. I wasn't crazy about the Coloss uh, the New Colossus or whatever call it. What I, whatever I played of it, I wasn't crazy about it. But I mean, I I might be up for some Nazi slaying co op with Wolfenstein Young Blood. That's like kind of like what they're do what they did with old, uh, New Order to Old Blood, and now they're doing. New Colossus to Youngblood. So it stars BJ's twin daughters with Anya. So they're going to go out and kill some Nazis. So that's cool. 
because fuck Nazis. Nazis are assholes. And then they moved on to the big, 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 big focus of the evening, which was Fallout 76. Again, padding. They showed the same trailer there that they showed at Microsoft's E3, so pick one or the other, please, for next time. And to be honest, I was really not really all that crazy about this game, or I was really concerned about what they had talked about from it or what was leaked. But to my surprise, I I walked away from this presentation a lot more optimistic about Fallout 76. Yes, it is an always online survival, not massively multi, not massive multiplayer, but it is an online survival game with with base building elements set in the Fallout universe. However, from what they showed, it only has a very light focus on survival. The base building is completely skippable. Like, you don't have to do that at all. You can just roam the wasteland without having to fuck with that shit. And it's littered with only dozens of other players instead of hundreds. Like, you're not going to be encountering player after player after player after player while you're roaming the wasteland. It's a very select few of them on each dedicated server. And they talked about how dying, you don't, it doesn't kill your character's progression. It still very much focuses on the story. Thank God it seems they're going back to silent protagonists. I'm so happy. I never thought I would say that with the, with the Fallout game. But after Fallout 4 story being kind of shit, I'm really happy that they're going back to silent protagonists. I, I can't wait. I love that. And you can take nukes and blow people up with them. That's awesome. Yes, please. I would love to play with nukes. And you can do co-op with your buddy. Up to up to four players can join a squad and go fuck up the wasteland. And that sounds like so much fun. And they have a beta coming out for it. They have a collector's edition coming out for it. So, you know, the usual Bethesda Game Studios fair. And I still have a lot of questions about Fallout 76. My big one is, how are they going to monetize it? because they're doing a full $60 release, they're doing a collector's edition, I want to know if they're going to have paid DLC or if they're going to have microtransactions. If they're going to have microtransactions, I'm not interested. Sorry, even if, and even if it is just cosmetic, I'm not interested. And I will be playing Pokemon that weekend anyway, so the weekend it comes out, so I will not have a game. I will not have lost a game. And... I'm, just, I'm really concerned about the microtransaction thing the more I think about it. Because I just, I don't know how this is sustainable with free content. Unless, because they're having like dedicated servers for this. And I just, I, it has to be done through microtransactions. Or they're going to have something like Fortnite where it's a shop. Where you, you go on there and you pay for like rotating uh, uh, cosmetics that rotate out every so often. Or maybe, God forbid, they're going to tie it to the creation club where the, you have to pay for the goddamn currency with real money. And it just, eh, I, I don't know now. But other than that, I'm a lot more interested in Fallout 76 than I was a couple days ago. And that's saying something. I definitely want to try out that beta. And hopefully it will give me a much better idea of what the minute-to-minute -minute gameplay is. Because they only showed it in, like, brief heavily edited like snippets of gameplay here and there with those um the fallout the the vault boy videos so that was cool but they didn't stop they moved on to the elder scrolls blades which is the next elder scrolls game that's on mobile super an elder scrolls game on on my phone Thank you, Bethesda. That's exactly what I wanted. And talk about padding. Jesus Christ, the, um, Todd Howard like droned on and on and on and on about this fucking game. I, I stopped caring way before he had stopped talking about it. So, I, ugh, whatever. They spent more time showing off gameplay for this fucking Elder Scrolls phone game than EA did for Anthem. That's fucking nuts. That's crazy. 
Same with, like, what is it with mobile games this year getting, like, a big focus? Like, you have one. You've had one at each conference now. Don't fucking tell me Sony's going to have one. I don't want to see a goddamn God of War mobile game or Uncharted mobile game. Don't do it, please. Like, literally, we had Command & Conquer at EA. We had Gears Pop Figure mobile game at, at Microsoft. And now we have Elder Scrolls, the Elder Scrolls Blades for the phone. Fucking hell. So thank God I was I was so worried that this is where they're going to end it on. They're going to end it on a fucking mobile game, and they didn't. They moved on to the final two, which was like the big two that we wanted to see all along: Starfield and Elder Scrolls Six. And these games are finally, finally confirmed to be in development by Bethesda themselves, and they are both next gen games. <laughs> So what we got from both of them basically was title cards with music attached to it. Starfield, but, but it's Starfield, and it's especially it's it's Elder Scrolls Six. Finally, it's happening about fucking time, and we're not gonna see these games for like five, six years, I bet. Maybe four, if I'm being generous. Especially Elder Scrolls Six. That thing, they said that they're just now starting production of it for the next gen of consoles. But I think I'm, I think I'm good with my PC. I think I'm good. I, I don't think I need to worry about owning a next gen console for that. And that was Bethesda, which again, I, like this has gone on way shorter than the past ones. But unlike Bethesda, I want to keep this short and sweet and to the point. Because I gotta go pick up people so they can come to my house to watch Square Enix in a little bit. More Kingdom Hearts, thank God. Um, boy, this shit was padded out. I mean, unlike Microsoft's really efficient, fast pacing, Bethesda's just dragged on and on for way too goddamn long. And clearly it was it was lengthened by stuff that did not need to be there. I don't I'm not even convinced that they needed a press conference this year. Did we really need to see every Elder Scrolls side game that they have in development? Did we that are already out? Did we really need to see Quake Champions again? Did we really need a painfully boring, cringy live music opening before Rage 2? And look, I like Todd Howard. I think the guy's cool. But that that presentation could have been shortened a lot. Did that really need to be as drawn out as it was? It was like he was speaking so slowly just to like drag it out to an hour and a half of a press conference. Yes, we got Starfield. Yes, we got Elder Scrolls 6, but they were just they were just unfinished title cards. We're not going to see these damn games for a long fucking time. Think about that. We're not going to see these games until probably midway into the next console generation. The next one. And that's probably not going to happen for another few years. And this is just such an odd conference. I mean, they, they could have shown Rage 2 and Fallout 76 during Microsoft's thing. They didn't need a press conference this year. And they could have saved Starfield and The Elder Scrolls 6 for something. I mean, I'm glad they showed it because it brought some life to this fucking conference, but they could have showed it way in the future. They didn't need to do it now because now every year people are going to be going, oh, are we going to see Starfield? Oh, are we going to see Elder Scrolls 6? Oh, are we going to see more of that? No, we're not, asshole. We're not. It's not going to happen for a long time. So, definitely more valleys than peaks here for me. Uh, we got Rage 2, which looks great. Fallout 76 assuaged some of my fears. Doom 2, thank Christ, is coming. But at the same time, in the same amount of time that Bethesda did their shitty rock concert, Microsoft had already shown off three games. Three good-looking games. Bethesda could have learned a thing or two from the pacing from the Microsoft people this year. So as far as final grade goes for Bethesda... I'm going to be, I'm going to, you know, so, go somewhere in the middle and say C+. If this is not a concert, a, a conference I see myself watching ever again. I just want to watch that Elder Scrolls 6 trailer over and over and over again and be happy and maybe watch the Fallout 76 stuff later on and the Doom stuff later on, but, and the Rage 2 stuff later on. But everything else, 
it was just boring and unnecessary and really dragged the pacing of this conference down to a crawl at points. Just especially the Elder Scrolls Online bit. The Elder Scrolls bits in general. Just so fucking long. Did not need to happen. So anyway, that was Bethesda. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys next time for Square Enix. Bye!